Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we're going to take some time today to go over the new uh, shipping system that's been added to the Stone Edge Order Manager. Um, there's a lot to it, so we're going to just kind of take a quick dive in and try not to spend too much time, but want to give everybody a, a high level overview of exactly what's changed and the advantages of it to you, and then actually take you through the new uh, interfaces and, and, and show you how it's actually used. So let's take a look at what's new. The first major thing that's new is that we've introduced a single unified interface for all shipping carriers. So no more do you have to go into one program to print out a UPS label and another program to print out a USPS label or FedEx label and you name it. You have one single interface and regardless of the shipping carrier, your shipping label will come out of that interface. We've also introduced built-in rate shopping, which I know this has been in demand for many, many, many years. Um, it's finally here. The program can now automatically rate shop to find you the best rate that will meet the requirements of any given shipment for any given order. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail. Uh, the new shipping interfaces show up at both the view and approve order screens uh, and a new screen which was designed to replace what we used to refer to as the quick ship screen um, and the pack and ship screen. Some of the main advantages of this new system are going to be better postage rates. Uh, because of the number of Stone Edge users that we have and the uh, sheer volume and aggregate across all of our user base, uh, we were able to negotiate some very, very good rates with the post office and pass those rates on to you. So everybody, regardless of whether or not you ship five orders a day or 500 or 5,000 orders, you're going to get the same deep discount across all of your shipping methods. We were able to negotiate what's called commercial plus pricing from USPS. The rate shopping, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to work across all carriers to find the best available shipping method that'll get that order to your customer in the time frame that they selected during checkout. And the other advantage is that this new system is easier to use. You have one consistent user interface for all carriers. There's no third-party software dependencies. All right, so to get started, we're going to want you to complete an application. This will establish your postage meter and link your UPS and FedEx accounts to your new Stone Edge shipping account. Once you've done that, then you're ready to download Stone Edge and uh, start setting up the new shipping system. Of course, since everything is brand new, there's not a lot of carryover from the old shipping to the new shipping system. So you're going to need to do some reconfiguration. It's not terribly difficult, but it's something that I recommend that you uh, carve out some time to do. Um, I would not attempt to do this at two o'clock on a busy Monday afternoon. So let's dive right in and take a look at the shipping functionality. Uh, the way to get there is pretty straightforward. Right from the main menu, you're going to click on ship my orders. And that's going to bring open this screen right here that you see. Now, there's a lot going on here, but let me explain it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward once you've had a, uh, an opportunity to take a look at everything. The first thing you see is right here in the middle of the screen. This is a list of all of the orders in your database that need to be shipped. And it's sorted by the oldest order first. You can see the Stone Edge order number, the order date of the order, the number of lines on the order, the source of the order, so which website or marketplace that it came from, and then the shipping method that the customer selected during the checkout process. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see a simple search window. You can type in a, uh, a specific order number, if you know that, to bring that order up. Um, there's also some quick filters over here. So if you wanted to um, bring up a list of all of your next day orders, uh, or your expedited orders, whatever you might have your shipping method set up, you can select that and then it'll uh, bring up a list of all of the unshipped orders that match that criteria. And you can also look by uh, order status and the shopping cart or order source as well. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at a specific order. So I'm gonna select one, let's just say uh, 4946. I'm gonna select that order. And the first thing that you're gonna see is that it's loading the order. And what it's actually doing is going out and doing the rate shopping for you. This does take a couple of seconds to run, depending on, um, on a couple of different variables. Um, and when it's done loading, what you'll see over here on the right-hand side is a 
is the um, details of this particular shipment. Now, what it's done is taken the, uh, the weight of the order based off of all of the items that are on the order. You can tell Stone Edge to use the weight that comes in from the website, or you can tell it to look up the weight of the items uh, based off of data that you have in your inventory table. Then it's gonna bring in the dimensions of the order. And the way it's determining that is by using the boxes feature that's been in Stone Edge for, for many, many years. Um, Stone Edge allows you to set up all of your standard boxes um, and give the dimensions of those boxes. And then it also allows you to uh, set the dimensions of every single item in your inventory. And if you have that set up, then Stone Edge will, then the shipping system will automatically calculate the smallest box that will hold all the contents of the order and then select that box and populate the dimensions of that box. If you don't have that set up, I highly recommend you take the time to do that data entry. It definitely makes, makes it possible to automate a lot of this and eliminate human mistakes and, and, and keep your, your, your shipping costs as low as possible. So once it had a weight and dimensions and a box selected, then it went out and rate shopped and found the cheapest shipping method that'll get the order to the customer in the time that they selected during checkout. Um, in this case, I can select a drop-down box and see all of the shipping methods that are available, the cost of those shipping methods, whether or not it's a guaranteed delivery date, and then the actual delivery date that is estimated by the carrier. If I'm happy with everything, I can just come right over here and click this button and it'll print out the shipping label to either a Zebra or Eltron thermal label printer, or present a PDF on the screen that can be printed to a laser printer. But before I do that, let's take a look at some of the other areas of the screen. If I wanted to see more information about this particular order before I shipped it, I can select this items tab and it will show me exactly what was reordered re and the quantity that was ordered. I can also select the orders tab here and it will give me a blow up of the entire details of the order. It'll show the source of the order, who it was sold to, where it's shipping to, what items were on the order, if there were other shipments on this order that had already been shipped out, or if I was looking at this order after it had shipped, you would see the tracking information right here. If I wanted to avoid a shipment, there's would be a big X right here that I could select that shipment and void it out. And then of course, any comments, special instructions, gift messages, all that information would appear down here. If at any time I wanted to edit this order before I shipped it out, this little button here will take me to this order at the view order screen where you can make whatever edits you want and then simply close the view order screen. It will bring you right back here to continue where you left off. We're happy with everything. We don't need to make any changes. So I can come right back to this item and click the print button. And just like that, you can hear the printer printing in the background. There goes my shipping label.